Hey, special educators, I'm Jennifer from Positively Learning. Welcome to the Special Educators Resource Room. If you're like me, you're always looking for ways to save time and streamline your work. That's why this podcast was created, to give you the systems and solutions you need to get your time back. Tune in for tips, tricks, and tools that will help you manage your workload and make the most of your time. Whether you're brand new or experienced, all are welcome in the Special Educators Resource Room. Hey, Special Educators, it's Jennifer from Positively Learning. Thanks for tuning in. Did you know that April 3rd is Paraprofessional Appreciation Day? Did you know that? Now, if you're listening to this well past April 3rd, no worries. In fact, I think every day should be Paraprofessional Appreciation Day. I mean, just imagine you have a rock star para working with you and they're not going to be at school one day. How would that day go? Exactly. In this podcast, I'm going to share some free and mostly free ideas that you can use any time of year to shower appreciation on your paraprofessionals. Before we get started, though, I have a little bit of podcast housekeeping. At the time of this recording, I have about a dozen episodes under my belt, and I cannot even express to you how much I'm enjoying this process. I love talking to you through this microphone each and every week. Maybe you've been listening along and you're thinking, she's really pulling out some random special education topics every week, but I promise there is a plan behind the scenes. I do tend to focus in on the same four to five topics that support special educators. And as the podcast goes on, you may notice a trend of repeated topics. However, I'm definitely not repeating content, but instead adding on because my master plan for this podcast is to create professional development playlists. Wanting more information on data collection? You can go binge listen to episodes 2, 5, 13, and so on. Or maybe you're looking for support with paraprofessionals or getting started with task boxes or the IEP process. I look forward to creating these playlists for you. And be sure to let me know if there's any topic you want to make sure I cover. As I was looking back through the data, of course, there is one episode that is outperforming all other episodes, which means it's the one that's been downloaded and listened to the most. It is episode three, which is all about creating a paraprofessional training binder. Be sure to go back and listen to it, but it definitely made me think of today's topic. All right, let's get back to business with paraprofessional appreciation. Before I dive into these quick ideas, I do want to provide some background information. In my own experience, I just did not have a lot of extra income to be spending, and I definitely didn't have a lot of creative energy. And by a lot, I mean I had none. So if you are in the same boat, these tips are for you. Keep that in mind how simple they are. They are all based on this free set of sticky notes. They're the type of sticky notes that you can run through your printer and print out. They are in my on my website and in my Teachers Pay Teachers store for Positively Learning. I will put the link in the show notes. You definitely want to grab these. There are six different designs, and if I may say so myself, they are super cute. There's a set of directions on how to print on sticky notes included, but if that's feeling like a whole lot right now, I totally understand. I just tend to print the page um, maybe two or three times using assorted colors, um, like bright colors, and then I just cut them out around the squares. The first quick idea is to take one of those sticky notes or cut out squares and attach it to a favorite treat. Uh, Maybe at the beginning of the year, you did a paraprofessional survey, so you know their favorite color, their favorite snack or drink. By this time of the school year, you probably already know these things anyway. I know that I would love to walk in in the morning or come back from recess or lunch and see a token of appreciation attached to caffeine, like a K-cup. That's such an easy way to do it. The next idea is completely free. Take the set of sticky notes and print three copies. So there's six on a page, you have 18 notes. And do some type of display with the notes. So you could, um, if you use different colors, you can make a cute little display or a heart and put this on the classroom door. 
paraprofessionals can walk into that the next morning or whenever they're walking into your classroom. Another idea is to have this set up on at their table that they use or in the teacher's lounge. I'm always for giving public shout outs to our paraprofessionals. The next idea is if you do have a few dollars to spend, take that same sticky note and attach it to a favorite school supply, or maybe it's lip balm, a little pocket lotion. My favorite is using those antibacterials from Bath and Body Works, those little ones that are so cute and smell so good. The last two ideas are completely free. The first one is to take the notes and print them out on paper and write a handwritten message on the back. It is so special, but we just don't do that a lot, right? Because we don't have a lot of time. But I think back to the notes that I have saved over the years from students, families, and admin. It was always the handwritten messages that seemed specific to me. I think this is really helpful also if you do work with several paraprofessionals because then they're going to get that handwritten note just for them rather than a token gift. And the last idea is not actually a gift, but it's just simply remembering to say thank you. A thank you goes such a long way, but if you are anything like I was in the classroom, sometimes words were just hard. I mean, we were tired. We were always thinking of the next emergency that we were going to focus on, but just stopping to say a sincere thank you can go such a long way in making someone feel appreciated. My hope is after listening to these quick and easy ideas that you are not feeling pressured to do something fancy or extravagant or a homemade craft, unless you want to, of course. Paraprofessionals play such an important role in the lives of our students in everyday learning, and we don't need to wait for a special day to show our appreciation. With these simple handwritten notes or token treats, or just simply taking the time to say thank you, we can show them appreciation each and every day. I want to make sure that you click on over to the show notes so that you can grab your free set of paraprofessional sticky notes. These are great to print out at the beginning of the school year, keep any time that someone needs a little boost, and definitely Paraprofessional Appreciation Day. Thank you so much. Let me know which gift idea you're going to try out first and snap a photo. I'd love to see. All right, stay tuned to the next episode. Until then, take care. Thanks so much for tuning in and I'm dying to ask, what'd you think? Be sure to hit the follow or subscribe button so that you never miss an episode. You can find the show notes and links for everything mentioned in this episode at PositivelyLearningBlog.com. See you next week for more special education solutions.